very, very interesting. And I think pretty much everyone sort of assumed Jack Lazowski was out of it, but he uh, will be an interesting spectator, assuming he's made it back <laughs> here to the morning side. Neil Robertson, he's aware of what he needs to do. As Peter Lyne said, though, it's like a knockout for him now. He's got to win every match that's left, including this one, to put himself into the playoffs. Kyron Wilson has played well, though. Four wins out of five. And you know with Kyron as well, he's not going to bash the balls around. That's the last thing he'll do. He'll play properly. Well, getting Neil Robertson out of the way is an advantage for him and for everyone left because we know what he's capable of doing, the Australian. He's not played well in this group by his standards, and yet he's still in there battling. And let's not forget what he did in Group 6. He was below par there, but he got the verdict in the end. over the 15 years of the Championship League. Not the first time that a player has gone home and then had to turn about face, Dave. No, well, there's so much to think about and you've only got to forget one aspect of it. And, you know, you think, OK, well, I can't qualify, but then the thing you haven't thought of sort of comes to the fore. Anyway, if Robertson wins this match, it's all settled. Well, I was as guilty as anyone when Lazowski lost against Kyron Wilson. I said, that's it, he's eliminated. You thought so too, Dave. He did. But he's not. Well, but you know, Robertson is such a, a stubborn sort. He will take great delight in seeing Jack come back for nothing. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. He didn't play well, though, at all against Trump. He yeah, really well, struggled. It was his first match of the day. It's just the way the schedule falls. Everyone else had been playing all day. He came in and he was here actually quite early, so he was waiting to play. He just did not perform. And Trump, in the end, made a, another century in the last frame. The Lazowski situation is not just unique to snooker or the Championship League. It's happened in golf on many occasions where a player thinks he's missed out on a playoff and left only to discover he could have been in sudden death for the title or to qualify for something. And one final thing on the Lazowski situation. Reaching a semi-final with two points. That is so unusual. Sometimes two points isn't enough to finish in fifth place and go forward to the next group. So if he does get in through the back door, Lazowski, he can count himself extremely fortunate. And who's to say he won't go on and win the whole thing? It almost seems <laughs> it's kind of being written that way, isn't it? But we'll see. He's not there yet. Coral Wilson, of course, a bit of a Championship League specialist. He's won the ranking event and this invitational event. I think he always prepares really the same way for every match. I just saw him practicing before this. We know that he's going to. As I say, just be professional and got that mentality, just wants to win every frame of snooker he plays.
the last couple of meetings have been terrific matches. Neil Robertson beat Karen Wilson 6-4 in the last 16 of the Players' Championship. Last year, he made two centuries, Wilson made one. In the quarter-final of the Champion of Champions in 2021, Wilson beat Robertson 6-4, making three centuries. I don't think either player's on that kind of form here. And I would make Wilson a slight favourite to win this match if he can make anyone a favourite over the best of five, based on what we've seen from the two players in the group so far. That wasn't easy, but not enough of those have been going in from the queue of Neil Robertson, who's such a reliable long potter. Played well at times yesterday, but the fact is he's in this position where he has to win his last match. Australian guilty of the first major error. Well. Yeah, he's uh, not brought his A game today and he's going to have to find it very soon. As for now, he's waiting for a chance, of course. Wilson's made three centuries Six. in this group. Of course, we saw him go deep last week in Wolverhampton to the semi-finals of the Players' Championship. Seven. Wanted a fuller contact on the black two nudge it towards the pocket. Karen Wilson's seven. Again, not easy, but you know, you're just used to him knocking long reds in. Got a great cue ball. This is their third meeting in the Championship League. The first two resulted in 3-2 scorelines, one for Robertson, one for Wilson. Notably in those two matches, though, Robertson made a total of four centuries. To dig himself out of this hole, I think he will have to score again, score heavily. Nice break against Trump was 22. Neil Robertson, he had a lot of chances, so 
you know, there's a lot to build on. Everything's got to improve. Wilson hasn't knocked that one in. Would have been on the pink if he had. Robertson, though, did make two centuries yesterday. As I say, at times he played really nicely. And he's a great competitor, of course, we know that. So his mind has been cleared. He knows he's got to win, knows the result will do. And that's what he'll be trying to focus on if he does get a chance here. Even though the red was in close proximity to the pocket, that was still a good pot. But it's a good pot for a single point. Brown ball. Cameron Wilson. One of the things that is levelled against Robertson quite often these days is that after he won the World Championship in 2010, he's never really prospered at the Crucible since. The reason I'm saying that, one of the disappointments he suffered was against Kyron Wilson a couple of years ago in the quarter-final. Robertson led that match 5-2, lost 13-8. Yeah, nice oh. pot from Karen Wilson. I remember that match, and I remember him going very negative. He was 4-1 up, and he played the Mark Williams break-off shot, you know, not opening any reds. Why? He was, <laughs> he was leading the match, he was on the front foot, and suddenly his mindset changed, and, you know, Karen Wilson was like a dog with a bone after that. his way here but thing is you know he's not going to just sort of leave easy chances as I say the fact he's qualified is almost irrelevant really to how he's going to play yes the other thing is Wilson already knows regardless of the result here who we will play in the semi-finals it will be over on table two, he'll take on John Higgins. Here on Carol table Wilson one, the semi-final will be Judd Trump, who's guaranteed to top the table against either Lazowski or Robertson. you see if Wilson wins this match he will have five points the same as Trump but he will have won 16 frames whereas Trump has won 17. And if you're new to the Bet Victor Championship League, how the, the semi-finals work out is that in the table, one place four, two place three. Things just not happening for Robertson and catches that red on the right hand side and leaves a, another chance. And there's just a sort of, you know, we're so used to him kind of owning the table, aren't we? You know, looking like he's the man in charge. Doesn't look that way at the moment. Didn't against Trump. Hasn't so far here. And time is starting to run out for Neil Robertson to find some sort of form in this 
at the end of this group if he's going to play a part later on. I think that was a really good summation of how it feels with Robertson. And even when he won Group 6, it wasn't a masterful display at all. Just muddled through. Yeah, it seems to me his problem is just he sort of underplayed a bit. You know, last season he won so many tournaments, four tournaments. We saw him at the business end so often. Six. But, uh, of course, wasn't at the Players' Championship, didn't qualify last week, hasn't been in a final, apart from the mixed doubles right at the start of the season. So it's been, for him, quite a surprising Seven. campaign. Where not only has he not been going deep, he's not been seen in a couple of events, and, of course, the Tour Championship is another one coming up, which he seems unlikely to be in. On table two, Jago Dong has taken the first frame from Stuart Bingham. But that match, apart from financial gain, has no implications. Thirty. So after a couple of full starts, Wilson in a very strong position now at the start of this match. And he'll be looking for a good performance here to carry some confidence into the semi-finals. John Higgins is playing great stuff. So Wilson will need to match that. Nice. He did actually beat Higgins 3-0 yesterday, though, so that, he's got that to call on. Yes, it was 20. very early yesterday, 11 o'clock start for that match. Over on table two, Wilson won 3 0, made a 90 break. And that's the great thing about the, the semi final playoffs. Once you get there, the slate is wiped entirely clean. 26. Yeah, and with regards to Trump being at the top, remember none of the seven group winners in the winners group actually top their groups in the round robin so we'll see if he can break that little hoodoo Needs another red after this blue to compound Neil Robertson's problems. Thirty nine. Yeah, it's just left it a little bit awkward because he's queuing over the other red now, so this could have been easier for frame ball. Yeah, that's literally anywhere but there because he's on a, a choice of two reds, but the, the awkward queuing applies to both. Forty. Just decided there was no thoughts of position. Yeah, that's the one good thing, he didn't need a colour, although it's only Blue one snooker required now, but Karen Wilson in a strong position in this frame. Blue's not far away either. Well, there we go. Forty-five. Now three snookers needed. Karen Wilson, 45.
59 behind, 51 on. Robertson is in that zone, though, where if he were to get a snooker and a free ball, he could still pull this one out of the bag. Well. Not from there, though. A big colour is imperative. Well, this is going to be some shot if he pots to black. He doesn't, and surely he's going to concede. Yeah, Robertson won. First frame. He does. Oh, Robertson concedes, and so a very low scoring first frame falls to Kyron Wilson. Jack Lazowski's chances of making the semi final playoffs improve. win match for Neil Robertson and he's 1-0 down to Karen Wilson if he doesn't win this Second match time. then Jack Lazowski against all odds he's going to be the fourth man in the playoffs we know that Judd Trump John Higgins and Wilson have already qualified but uh, the battle's on for fourth place but uh, so far today Robertson's played four frames lost them all and his highest break's 22, so things have got to rapidly improve, and soon. Table two, it's going to be 2-0 shortly to Zhao Gudong over Stuart Bingham. This time he has not won in, but it's finished nowhere with the cue ball. In terms of continuing the break, it's where you want to finish if you don't pop the red, actually. But he's uh, rolled no, up Robinson. to the brown, and there's a few reds in the open here that Wilson's got to be mindful of. Just while he plays uh, this escape, there is table two, and Zhang Gudong on an 87 break with lots still on. Oh, what a mess. Neil Robertson, four. Yes, if you potted the last three reds with blacks and all the colours, that would be 145. So he yeah. would pip John Eight Higgins four. and move into the front runner position Eight for the £1,000 group high break bonus. One hundred and two. One hundred and three. One. Well, Shaggy Donk has made a competitive maximum, but even so, one four five be a terrific effort from a player who knows he can't make the playoffs. Key shot coming up here, this last red down the rail. 110. Nine. Oh, oh no, he's well, gone in off. Seven. Oh, that's a shame. Terrific. 60. So, John Higgins' money is safe for now. 
Neil Robertson, meantime, trying to get something Seven going three. here. And this is a good scoring chance. He's got a few more reds into play after that last shot. He needs to be a bit more aggressive because that's his best game, of course. He's such a fantastic competitor, great champion of our sport. Looked a bit flat today so far, but maybe now he will come to life. Now he knows he's got to find something. Thirty-two. Again, good to see Robertson going on the attack, getting more reds into the open. Thirty-three. Always terrific shots to knock in, especially when you're playing towards a pocket that you can't see. Rumble. Thirty-seven. Now this is the Neil Robertson we're accustomed to, building big breaks. Forty-four. Being a master of the cue ball. Forty-five. Yeah, and just being a bit more aggressive, you know, trying to get the reds open early. Make something happen. Take the game to Karen Wilson. We know what will be in his mind now. Make a century. Made two 52. yesterday to take his career tally to 890. Judge Trump is on 898. links them apart from the many titles they've won of course they've both made the only two players to have made more than 100 in a single season Robertson 103 Six. Trump 102 yes and a further link when Robertson became the first player to make over 100 centuries in a season he made his 100th against Judd Trump who didn't seem best pleased it Six. wasn't a world championship crunch match though Trump had bigger fish to fry. That blue should 66. seem over the line. Wilson already needs a snooker. So now, as we see it again, Robertson can concentrate on that century, which I suspect has been in his mind right from the off, actually. 67 because his highest break, as I said earlier, in the first four frames he played today was just 22. If that hadn't have gone up, then he would be heading home for sure. 72. Well, it hasn't finished ideal on the black. 
a little thinner than he would have liked. Works out nicely, though. 80. Eighty four. Eighty five. Just when you think he might be down and out when the tank is empty, Robertson responds. 92. It would take his greatest fan to say he's been the best player in this tournament. He hasn't been. Nowhere near. And yet he could still claim the trophy. Black for the century. He's third of the group. Exactly what he needed to get himself going. Looking a little quizzically at the cue ball, but Black's gone in. The century's been made. 8 9 1 now. 102. Clinical this from Robertson. 114. Just sending a message that he's still in this, still capable. Yeah, and for someone who's had an apparently quiet season, he's Neil now Robertson, made more centuries than anyone. 43. So Neil Robertson, with that century, has levelled up at one each. So, Neil Robertson hoping that that century break sparks a full-scale full recovery in his fortunes today. He's looking the to frame. claim a place in the playoffs frame. where he would uh, take on Judd Trump in the semi-finals later. John Higgins will play Karen Wilson. Wilson, of course, won the first frame here. But Robertson has levelled at one each. Xiao Dong 2-0 over Stuart Bingham on table two. Yeah, Xiao arrived at 2-0 with a century. That's his 16th of the tournament, Dave. Overshadowed by Matthew Salt's achievements in that regard, but still 16 in one event. As I was saying, just at the end of that last frame, Neil Robertson, has, despite you know not winning titles, has made more centuries now than anyone else all season. 43, Judd Trump's on 42. Mark Allen on 40. Of course, Mark Allen not in the Championship League. If he had been, he probably would, you know, you'd imagine he'd be well clear of them.
Well, he's again, trying to get in, but he'll be a little concerned walking away. He's left the, the red just above the black. Yeah, it was his chasing centuries, actually, that was a major turning point this season for Robertson. He made three against Joe O'Connor in the semi-finals of the Scottish Open, was trying to make a fourth, and because the Reds were in bulk, he was having to come back for big colours anyway, broke down, and O'Connor made a, a great, great clearance. Oh. Still one of the best breaks of the season. And, of course, he won the match. And But for that, Robertson... You know, he would have been in that players' championship, which is a tournament he won last year. The whole season could have been very different. Of course, it wasn't just that match. There were other matches that he could have won Six. and didn't. <clears throat> would have given him more chances. But it was certainly important, not just for Neil, but for Joe O'Connor as well, who played so well last week to get to the semi-finals of the players' championship. Karen Wilson's playing for two in this match himself and Jack Lazowski. 50. Thank goodness Jack stopped at the service station, you know. <laughs> it meant he wasn't quite so far away as he could have been. Twenty two. Twenty three. And in Kyron Wilson, he's got a, a good player in there batting for him. As Dave Thank said, you. you just know he'll give 100%. 30. Well, he loves the Championship League so much, Karen. He came and commentated with us, didn't he, on the final day of the, the ranking event version. He wasn't involved himself, but just couldn't keep away. 36. But he prefers winning it, clearly, and he's, we know he's playing well after last week, the run to the semis. 37. He won the European Masters early season, overcoming Barry Hawkins in a very low quality final. But of course it was early season, so that meant he was in the champion of champions this season oh still to book his Karen place Wilson. for next season 36. and shots like that will do his confidence no good at all won't please Lazowski either 6 Robertson's got something now he's not had in this group up till now so you can see there's a, a determination in the eye 
a clear end goal. Clarity as to what he needs to do. Robertson seven. Missing blacks off the spot, just a very uncommon occurrence for Neil Robertson. He's not really with it. That was terrific because it was quite a complex plant anyway, which had to be made, and it wasn't a full pocket. Went in without touching the sides, easily avoiding black and jaws. The only problem, the cue ball avoided all of the reds. Eight. Bingham still 2 0 down to Jagu Dong, of course, can't qualify, but it's worth saying that ranking event version in the summer just gone. He was still playing, wasn't he, after the final <laughs> against Ricky Walden? Still a group match as Wilson attempts the plant, everything scatters everywhere, and well, it's not, it's not the worst result. He has left a couple of long reds on, but could have left something much easier, nearly got the plant. But yeah, Stuart Bingham was here after the final. <laughs> well. It was a unique set of circumstances that I would doubt would ever occur again, Dave. Yeah, it was very strange. And they were playing on for snookers and all sorts. Anyway, Robertson's in. Wilson will not be in dread yet. There is one obviously awkward red, which we can see there. And also a very... Six. Poorly placed green. Well, poorly placed from Robertson's perspective anyway. Seven. One strange sort of wrinkle to this match, it's actually Wilson. Wilson's first appearance on this table. He played his previous matches on table two, all of them. Fifty. It's funny, isn't it? Because <laughs> he sort of made a bit of a point last season about wanting to be on table one. And of course, it's in the, in the main events, that's where the main TV coverage is here at the Championship League. It's sort of more of a level playing field, really. But even here, he ended up on table two. If he's in the final, though, he'll be on table one, guaranteed, obviously. I must say, Dave, Five I had to three. check that one when you said it, because normally players get to play a pretty even amount of matches, don't they, on both tables? All about the red on the side cushion. Pretty good angle, this. And 
what's more, the red is in a really good place for a left-hander. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Now the main focus switches to sorting out the green. Sorted out only to go bang in front of the yellow. That's unlucky. Neil Robinson, 41. Everything to play for. Three points, Robertson's lead on the colours. Interestingly, Dave, if Robertson can win this match and make the playoffs, it would mean the four players in the semi-finals are the four highest ranked in the group. Yeah, I mean, you could make a case for any of them actually winning this title. Trump and Higgins have both been excellent. Wilson, we haven't seen, of course, on the main table, as I just said, but he's played very solidly. Robertson, been a bit in and out. Well, that yellow was a bit in and out. I thought it, from one moment it might be in, but it stayed out. Caught the knuckle, and uh, he's cuttable. Played that shot nicely, checked off the second cushion to be ideally on the green. Robertson already five to the good. So green, brown and blue will do. Five. Nine. Forty. So one more frame required, and Neil Robertson will be in the playoffs for the winners' group of Championship League tonight. Twenty. And regardless of whether his performance is a bit inconsistent, we know how much he loves winning. We know how he tends to come good when he has to. One more frame should do it. He leads 2-1. One of the great spin-offs for winning the Championship League is you get into the Champion of Champions, which returns on the 13th of November, 13th to the 19th of November in Bolton. Tickets go on sale next week, March the 13th. So check out the website, championofchampionssnooker.co.uk, 
That's champion of champion snooker. Co it's actually a week on Monday, isn't it? March the 13th. Ronnie O'Sullivan, of course, has qualified as defending champion. Judd Trump as Masters champion. Mark Allen by winning various tournaments. But there's still places up for grabs, including for the winner of this Championship League. And, of course, here at the Morningside Arena in Leicester, from the 6th to the 13th of March, the greats of Nine Ball Pool assemble for Premier League Pool. It should be really interesting. Look at those fellows. Shane Van Boning, last year's world champion. Jason Shaw, Earl Strickland in his 60s, and still a sight to behold. The reigning world champion, Francisco Sanchez Ruiz, and in the foreground, a teenager from Saudi Arabia, Khalid Al Gamdi. Who I'll tell you what, has got enormous potential. Albin Aushin looking to the skies there on the right hand side. He is the defending champion. The fourth frame. Karen Wilson's break. I hear at the uh, Championship League snooker. It's Karen Wilson to break, leading two, sorry, trailing 2 1 against Neil Robertson. Wilson's already qualified. Robertson needs this frame and he will be in the playoffs this evening. And Jack Lazowski, who I think most people thought was out, he certainly did, will be confirmed that he will not be in those playoffs. Well, well like all great players, Neil Robertson, when he gets a sniff of the winning line, absolutely dives for it. Already a terrific long red. It's held nicely for the black. So this is more like it from the Aussie. An immediate chance here in the frame he needs to win to put himself through to take on. It will be Judd Trump in the uh, in the semi-finals because he just lost to Trump 3-0 in the group phase about an hour ago. Yeah, I don't think that will matter a great deal. He will settle for that. It's a scoreline that doesn't matter too much, but I will give you anyway. Zhao Gudong now 2-1 up on Stuart Bingham. He won the, the third frame on the blue. Thank you. No. It really would be <coughs> typical of Robertson. He's a winner through and through if he were to negotiate this match and then go on and claim the trophy. There have been countless instances, Dave, you know very well, of players who haven't Six, been the player of the week or the player of the event who end up with the silverware. 17. Well, yes, he's about doing it when it matters, which ultimately is in the playoffs. I mean, I said right at the start yesterday, it's about getting in the top four. How you get there is really irrelevant. You've got to be there, and then when you are there, it's about then producing your best snooker. And if Neil Robertson produces his best snooker, of course, he can beat anybody. He's been very inconsistent in this group, but it'll be dangerous for sure if he is there later this evening. This is subjective, 20. and it's all about opinion. There's a, a case to say that he was the least impressive of the group winners who made it here. 25. When he comes down to the business end, you don't want to back against him. Nothing doing there, though. The cue ball just buried itself 32. in the bunch. So tune ball. Yeah, so tune ball. It's a very lucrative frame, this. 
If Robertson were to win it, it would be £200 for the frame. And then he'd be on a minimum bonus of 3000 for making the semi-finals. Neil Robertson, 32. With the goal inside, Dave, who can blame him? Robertson playing hardball. On a dangerous table, this he's found safety. The cue ball more dangerous, really, for Wilson from his perspective because he's 32 0 down. Robertson just looking for one more chance to get this match won. One thing about Kyron, though, he doesn't like losing, and that's a good trait to have, even in a situation like this where he doesn't need to win, he's already in the playoffs, he still wouldn't want to lose. Wobbling the cue ball in the jaws of a top corner pocket is a dangerous pursuit. This could have been a lot worse for Wilson, a lot worse. Big red to take on.
It was a big reward, but also a big risk. Five. Six. Every colour in the open. Reds pretty much ideally spaced. A deciding frame looks on the cards. Yeah, I mean, where we're commentating here, just out the back, there's a couple of practice tables. If, if Karin had set the balls up like this, you, you know, it would just be to sort of just practice playing simple shots, really. This Fourth. is where you want them. And what a big frame it would be if we go to a decider, not just for Neil Robertson, but for Jack Lazowski, who looked down and out. He certainly thought he was, but he could end up in those playoffs, and you just get the feeling... <laughs> You know, it's almost meant to be for Jack. If that happens, we'll see. Not there yet. 21. Is this going to be the sixth match of 45. this group? To go the distance. You have to believe it will be. 46. Showing real steel here, real professionalism, treating this match like any other. Fifty-four. There's been no shoddy thought process, no rushing. It's playing to win, playing hard, and that's... 56. Retaining the integrity of the group because in these round robins, that's what the responsibility of every player is to give of his best from first to last and then see who prevails. 57. It's 
so 30 in front you can take a red and a blue or pink or 62. black and Neil Robertson will need a snooker Sixty-three, and then Neil Robertson's fate in this winners' group will rest on the last frame, as indeed will the fate of Jack Lazowski, because it's between those two now for fourth spot. Sixty-nine. All doubt removed. The only question now is whether Wilson can make a century. There's just about enough there if he clears the colours. 76. Seventy-eight. Eighty-one. So Robertson knows that the last frame is absolutely crucial for him. Eighty-five. He also knows Corin Wilson will play it as if it's crucial to him also. Ninety. Just been 96. really focused on this break right from first shot to last 103. 103. A lovely and clearance frame. from Karen Wilson. So Neil Robertson will have to win the decider if he's going to be in the playoffs later on. Last day of the Bet Victor Championship League and the last frame of this match, a must win frame for Neil Robertson if he is to be the in the playoffs. Frame. He has to win it. Otherwise, no against the odds, Jack Lazowski is going to scrape in to play Judd Trump. We know that John Higgins will play Car and Wilson. Wilson, though, is in a very determined mood in this match, just made 103 clearance to make it 2 2. It's also just gone 2 2, a pretty mistake-ridden uh, frame between Stuart Bingham and Jagu Dong. Bingham won it, so 2-2 two, two on table two also. 4 Neil Robertson, four. Well, that could be used as a, a competition in the future if you just stopped the action before he played the shot. Which ball is going to end up in which pocket? I think, well, the red might be fluked, but the white has sort of somehow made its path through everything into the yellow pocket. Now then, this is the sort of ball Neil Robertson knocks in with uh, great regularity. So he's in, first in the what? decider. Got great belief in himself, which is so important in a sport as individual as snooker. Seventy-two. 
already come through one deciding frame finish in the group. Three. He defeated John Higgins 3-2 to start last evening's session. One little postscript to Wilson's century in the previous frame. Oh, I'll tell you about it in a moment. That's a very poor shot from Neil Robertson. Cued right across that, and it's not the first Neil time Robertson we've seen now. him do precisely that today. His middle distance potting has been nowhere near what it normally is. Yeah, I just think he's not as sharp as he normally would be at this point in the season when he's won tournaments and been playing and everything. Well. Wilson, of course, has come here off the back of a, a good week of deep run last week, not as deep as he wanted. He was pretty... Uh, uncompromising in his assessment of it all but even so he had uh, good matches last week where Robertson wasn't in the tournament at all the players championship what I was going to say about Wilson's 103 in the previous frame before Robertson missed four is that that was the 22nd century of the group and the most centuries in one group in this year's championship league have been 23 in group five, so I think that's under five. threat with semi finals and final to come, plus a little more snooker here. Precise pace, fifty, but I don't think it's move the pink enough from Wilson's reaction maybe he's just about okay I think he was a little premature there in 60. looking up at the skies feeling aggrieved he was okay in the end well Neil Robertson might feel aggrieved because he's sat watching that of course thinking okay it's gone wrong but no <laughs> it hasn't Then the Carol most Wilson. elementary bis imaginable. Sixty. 
In the players' room, Jack Lazowski running the whole gamut of emotions. And of course, he's powerless to do anything about it. Oh. A miss on the pink. I mean, well, it shows anything's missable, I guess. And now the pink is a nuisance in another way. Eight. Well done. OK, didn't have to do an awful lot with the cue ball, if anything. But that was a really good pot. If the pink hadn't been there, that would have been the definition of routine. It was anything but. Lazowski, remember, has Six. two points and he's still clinging on to hope of making the playoffs. In Group 1, two points got 17. you sixth place. Ali Carter will tell you that. In Group 2, two points. Again, sixth, Ryan Day. Group 3, we got you fifth. Group 4, sixth. 24. Group 5, 6th. Group 6, 5th. Group 7, 5th. So it would be unique if he got in, but with Robertson at the table, his chances are receding with every pot. Yes, and Neil Robertson won't need the safe red on this side cushion. That's a bit of security. 22 in front already. So this is his chance to put himself in the playoffs and take on Judd Trump in uh, what will be in about 15 minutes' time. Thirty. Yeah, the turnaround might be even quicker than that. It's a real transformation in fortunes for Robertson. And in many respects, Dave, and I know you'll understand what I mean, he's playing with house money. He's in the semi-finals when he could so easily have been going home if he does the job here. 38. And that might free him up. I just think with Neil Robertson, he's, as I said earlier, he's got such self-belief. He always believes he'll play well. 45. He always has that optimism, that positivity. And the time to start playing well is now, isn't it? Now that he uh, looks like he's put himself into the semis, it's absolutely 46. wide open still, this Championship League. So this pink, and it looks like Neil Robertson is in the playoffs tonight. And... Wouldn't it be the pink to that pocket? Because that's the one that Wilson missed. A much easier one, actually. He was right behind it, just a straight pink. Missed it. And that initiated the chance for Robertson. Jack Lazowski will not be in the playoffs this evening. Sixty. So Judd Trump against Neil Robertson, John Higgins 61. against Kyron Wilson as Robertson knocks in a wonderful red. Can't quite make the century, but the frame was what Neil he needed. Robertson, the frame 61. is what he's won. Terrific 61, frame, and Neil Robertson secures his place in the playoffs with a 3-2 victory over Kyron Wilson.